Hello guys, Ivan here with this dude, bringing you another episode of Old School RuneScape Mobile. This one, we're going to do some, uh, let's play Pest Control. If you've never played this game, it's really simple and really fun. You get points, <clears throat> which you can trade in for <coughs> XP some items <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and also towards void <coughs> gear <coughs> sorry but um the void gear is really worth it and actually that's what I'm going to be starting to uh, save points for and uh, I'm in kind of noobish gear right now. I have Barrow's equipment in the bank, but <clears throat> I'm wearing this equipment here because it doesn't degrade. Because I'm going to be doing a lot of these matches, so I don't want to have to fork over the repair fee for my Barrow's equipment constantly. So right now I just got Dragon Legs, Obsidian Plate, Dragon Boots, Defender, Obsidian Cape, Fury, Berserker Helm. Then I have Whip, DDP, and uh, <coughs> Obsidian Dagger. But you can... Um, I'm just going to go back to Shared. But you can go here to the Minigame Finder. And you can teleport straight to pest control through that. And I'm actually going to go to the suggested world, which is 344. <clears throat> My combat level is just 89, so I have to use the beginner boat, which is this one on the far left. As you level up, I think level 100 is the next boat over there to the east. That actually gives more points than the beginner boat here. Alright. The uh, Void Knight spawns here in the center. And um, if he dies, the game is lost. There are four portals here, which monsters spawn into. I bought a, brought super strength and super attack potions to help, <clears throat> since they're cheap. But uh, monsters spawn out of these portals, and I hate it when people leave these gates open. The monsters spawn out of these portals, and you want to kill them as much as you can. Try to keep them off of the uh, Void Knight there in the city. And there's one particular monster that spawns sometimes called a Spinner. Those are your priority to try to kill because the Spinner right there is one, as a matter of fact. Looks like a jellyfish. Spinners will heal the portal as you're trying to destroy it, so they need to be the first ones to die so they can heal, heal the portal. And, um, all the portals start out with a barrier on them. You have to wait till the barrier drops until you can start dealing damage to the portal itself. Like, all the portals are down besides our portal here, which is the Eastern portal. <clears throat> There's another spinner. Get it out of the way. And if you can help it, you don't want to use poison items on the portal because if you end up poisoning the portal, whenever the portal drops, everybody that's nearby the portal will get poisoned as well. I also have my quick prayers turned on to the strength and attack prayers to give me a little bit more of a boost because whenever the game ends here or if you die whichever um, your uh, uh, prayer points get restored so it's worth going on and 
using your point, using your prayer, because you don't have to recharge it. But as you can see, we won that match. Usually you end up winning. There's not very many times you lose unless you have a crappy team. But you get some GP. Like I got 890 GP there. You get some GP <clears throat> at the end of a match. And you also uh, get points. These splatters explode whenever they die and deal a decent amount of damage to you, usually. One method that is common for here, but there again, I don't want to pay the repair bill on uh, Barrow's equipment. You can bring Derek's and a Dwarven Rock Cake to... Uh, Increase your damage with your Derek's by bringing your HP down low. Looks like there's one more portal left, the southwest portal. Check for any spinners. We are good. Now, keep checking for Looks like we've won this match too. Awesome. Remember, if you get two or three points per match on these on the small boat, and I'm up to nine points, which I already had a couple. <clears throat> I was really close to 75 range a few days ago. I came here and did a couple matches to trade in for XP to go on and hit me the 75 range so I could use a blowpipe because soon I'll be trying to defeat Jad to get a fire cape. I'm kind of overdue on getting one. I've never defeated Jad. So, it's on the to-do list. so the monsters can't just stroll through. Come on, people. Proof's the freaking gate. Oh, our portal's down. Another spinner.
very many of us over here to attack that portal. Right, so we got one more portal here in the southeast. And the Void Knight is really hurt. If we don't knock this down quick, we're gonna lose. And we lost. <clears throat> Like I said, that's pretty rare. You don't lose too many matches. Especially once you get up to the experienced boat, you will essentially never lose a match on the level 100 boat. <clears throat> but here you have a lot of people that don't really know what they're doing. Ravagers here are really good at breaking down walls and stuff. I'm going to try to Okay, that splatter's a good distance away. Portal's up. Spinner. Somebody poisoned the portal, as you can see. I'm poisoned right now. We're looking pretty good so far. One quarter or two quarters. Oh, I can't hit the freaking board. There we go. Spinners. On the hill, I can't reach them. I try to go around here and get on the other side of the river, maybe get them. There's a bunch of spinners here, it's not good. Bunch of spinners piling on this board. There you go, looks like we're finally in it. It's like that guy there saying, Oh my god, kill the portal when there's like three freaking spinners. There's no good to try to attack the portal if the spinners are healing more than you can damage it. A lot of new people do not understand that concept. But yeah, that's the basic rundown pest control hope you've enjoyed this video like comment share and subscribe for more if you have any future video ideas you would like to see just please leave it in the comments and i will do my best to try to bring that content to you thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one